I'm Jane from Poppy Patchwork and in today's video I'm going to show you how to make a patchwork Scotty dog. Now every year at Christmas one of our Christmas ornaments is this gorgeous patchwork Scotty dog. And so this Christmas my daughter said to me she would really like an all year round Scotty dog and she'd help make it. So that's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to show you how to make a patchwork Scotty dog and my daughter's going to help me. So this pattern is available as a free download all over the internet. It's been around for years, maybe even 60 years and today I'm going to show you how I make my version of the patchwork Scotty dog. So my daughter has chosen this charm pack from Moda, Summer Breeze 2019, to make her Scotty dog with. I think it's a really good choice. It's full of fresh colours, fresh blues and whites and yellows. So I think it's going to make a really good all year round Scotty dog. So to make the Patrick Scotty dog, you're going to need um, 84 two and a half inch squares, which are going to cut from a charm pack. So you're going to need 27 squares for this side. You're going to need 27 squares for this side and then you're going to need 30 squares just to join the two together. So that is 84 in total. So I'm going to go and find my daughter and we're going to choose the fabrics we're going to use to make the first Scotty dog. Okay, so this is my daughter Diana. Hello! And I'm going to give her this charm pack and she's going to sort through the charm pack. Any duplicates she's going to put in one pile and any that are not duplicates, so different, she's going to put in another pile. Okay. Okay, so this is a very nice um, piece of fabric, but there's only one of those, so I'm going to add that to that pile. We've got two of these, so we're going to put these into two separate piles for the two different dogs. And again, we've got two of these really nice ones, so we're going to put one in each pile. Um, we've got how many of those? We've got a single one of that, so you're gonna put that into that pile. We've got two of these, so again, one in each of them. And we've got two of these really plain dark blues. And then some rose. So I'm going to take my single design fabrics and split them between the two piles. Great job Diana! Now I'm going to take one of those piles and show you how to cut all those squares into two and a half inch squares. So we need to cut this uh, five and a half inch square in half to make two and a half inches. So I'm going to um, line the two and a half inches up here and then cut this in half. Then I'm going to rotate the board and now lining up two and a half inches again I'm going to cut that square one more time and now we've got four two and a half inch squares. So we're going to repeat that on all of our charm squares that we've chosen for the Scotty Dog. So I've cut them all up and organised them into two sides of the dog. So now that the squares have been arranged, we're going to sew them together in columns. So I've sewn the first half of my dog into columns using a quarter inch seam on the sewing machine. So I've pressed the seams into opposite directions. These ones go up, these ones go down, up, down, up, down. So that's going to make it easier 
when I sew the columns together and now I'm going to go and pin it. All pinned and ready to take to the sewing machine. I'm now going to sew the last two columns together. I have now sewn the two sides of the dog, so mum is now going to sew the gusset to join the sides together. So to make the gusset you need to sew together the remaining 32 and a half inch squares into one long strip and once you've done that you then need to sew that onto one side of the patchwork dog. Now this is the trickiest part of the whole project. So let me show you where I've got to. I've sewn the gusset onto one half of the dog and I'll give you some hints and tips. So I've sewn the gusset onto the first side of the dog and the gusset is now creating, beginning to create a 3D shape. So if I lift it up here, what you can see is the dog's ear is suddenly coming into shape. Um, and then we've got his tail over here and then his feet down here. Um, so my tips to get this done is to match up your seams as much as possible. So you're going to pin your gusset to your front panel of the dog and you're going to pin it at every seam as you go round. Um, now bear in mind that when you get to something like the ear, your gusset is actually going to be attached to three sides of the dog's ear. So there's quite a lot of pinning and pivoting that doesn't feel natural. The other tip I would say is when you start to sew, sew up to the line of the stitching, stop, lower your needle and then pivot round and then continue sewing up the next section. Um, when you get to the end and you check your work, you may well find that it hasn't been completely successful. So don't worry about that. Just unpick the bits that aren't successful and sew them again. And then you're going to get as good a result as possible. Now, not all of my um, seams are matching, but I'm not going to get too worried about that because once we stuff the dog, you're going to barely notice it. So I'm now going to go and sew the other side of the dog to the gusset, remembering this time to leave a gap so that you can turn it through and stuff the dog. So I've now pinned the dog at every seam and you can see it's now beginning to take shape. I'm going to take this over to the sewing machine and sew all the way around, leaving a gap so that I can turn it through and so that I can stuff it. So I've finished sewing all around the dog and now we have got a good shape for the dog. Um, fixed any mistakes that I found and I've left a hole here so that I could have turned it through and this is for stuffing. So I've got a bag of stuffing here. It's just uh, toy stuffing. So we're going to stuff the dog with this stuffing. Now, when you buy the stuffing, it is quite compacted. So when you start to take it out of the bag, you need to fluff it up a little bit before you push it inside your toy. So we will show you what the toy looks like, or the Scotty dog looks like, when we have finished stuffing it. So I finished stuffing it, it took an entire bag and mum has sewn up the gap. So I've chosen some buttons and I'm now going to go and sew them on to make the eyes. So we've done the eyes and I want to say thanks to my mum for helping me and we finished this dog. I'm very pleased. Thank you for watching this video, I hope you've enjoyed it. Please click like and subscribe and tune in for more videos. Bye for now. Happy quilting.